Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama, your favorite uh, realtor, YouTuber um, in Mobile. Sweet home Alabama! Woo! Today I'm gonna show you my friend's house. This is the most unique house you have ever seen. It used to be first private school. Um, it was uh, founded by a woman, Kate Shepard. And uh, in this uh, historic house, people can live and rent rooms. So currently it's a bed and breakfast hotel. They do have a website, you can check it out, or you can rent a room. They have two bedrooms currently, but there are more bedrooms which could be used as places for guests. And everything in this house is historic. Furniture, uh, there are many antique and vintage items, art, and uh, many items which used to belong to people who lived there. So, um, we're gonna interview the owner, we're gonna look around, get an idea, and maybe if you want to change your lifestyle, if you want to move from California, Oregon, or Seattle, or New York, if you want to start a new life, uh, don't hesitate to text me and uh, email me. So maybe this commercial property, uh, your residence slash hotel slash museum would be your new adventure, your new life, because um, uh, you can work from home if you have computer work, you can meet new people, uh, you can be a realtor and see these people who uh, come stay with you want to buy some real estate here. So there are many opportunities and uh, everybody knows that Alabama has a low real estate uh, property taxes and uh, we have subtropic climates, everything blooms all the time, uh, hot weather, no snow, many fruits and vegetables grow here. So uh, this is almost a million dollar mansion. Uh, you cannot buy anything like that in California. And I want to remind you that Alabama is a Republican state. It's a Republican state and uh, Mobile is a growing city. In a few years, we're going to have international airport here. And uh, also we have a uh, cruise terminal uh, in Mobile. We have factories which build ships, airplanes, Airbus. So, um, and we like about an hour away from white sand beaches. So, uh, welcome to Alabama. And uh, I hope you... I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and interview with Wendy, the owner, and uh, let's sell, let's sell, let's make this uh, your new dream come true. Sweet home Alabama. Woo! Uh, Wendy, uh, welcome to my channel. Say, привет. Привет. Please tell us uh, about a license. What kind of license people should have obtained to run a hotel like that? So this is considered a bed and breakfast and you will need a lodging license from both our city of Mobile, the county of Mobile, and then of course from the state of Alabama. The county and the state's licenses are very inexpensive, not even $25 each, but the city that business license, which is renewed every year, is a percentage of your income. So uh, it's never more than 500 to 1,000 for me for, um, for a year. It's included. So this house uh, was a museum, not just a house and hotel. Mm -hmm. So you will have to train a new buyer to run the show. Yes. 
I will. And that is actually included in the sale and I will give up to at least 30 days worth of training on the history of the house, all of the business practices behind the scenes, like the reservation system and our webpage and so forth. So um, I will definitely be hands-on when we turn all of this over to the new buyer. And all this stuff is historical artifacts. These are some of the original items of Kate Shepherd's and her family's that uh, we will be leaving here in the house. Wendy, please tell us about uh, this house, square footage and all this stuff. Well, we have 4,200 square feet, two stories, and actually a third story, which is all attic space for storage. It has six bedrooms, four and a half baths, and of course, one, two, three large living areas, a large dining room, and a great kitchen. How much taxes every year you have to pay? Well, depending on your income, that's a separate figure. But the property taxes are only right about $2,500 a year. Mm -hmm. Uh, how much is the night at your special hotel? Well, we charge $175 per night, each night, of course, per room, and that's for a maximum of two adults. A full breakfast is included in the morning. Mm -hmm. 165 per room or two rooms? $175 per night per room. Okay. <laughs> This was a school, so a lot of little children came up and down those stairs. And this is Isabel's room. This is one of the guest rooms. Okay. So all of this is going to stay? All of this furniture stays. Uh-huh. This is unique. All this cute stuff. 
that is actually original to the house. So all of the fireplaces and mantles are original to the house. Oh. Yeah, it's like history. Yes. And a lot of the items are very special. So it may look like just another picture. But for instance, mm -hmm. this is very old, probably a hundred years old. And it was hand written and hand watercolored as a gift. And it's a marriage blessing. It's a traditional marriage blessing that somebody wrote out by hand and then um, added to it with the watercolor around it. So that, that is really quite priceless because somebody did that by hand. These are needle points, probably a hundred years old. Someone did that by hand. This old plate, some old artwork, and this is uh, actually a sample. So it was uh, an old $10 bill that they ran as a sample before they started printing all of the $10 bills. They ran off a, a couple of practice notes, and that's one of them that has been saved, and we were able to frame it. I also noticed this uh, unique lamp. That is definitely an antique. We found that in a sweet little antique store, and we had to have it. And let's see. The bathrooms. You probably upgraded them, right? We have. We've upgraded them, but we think we've kept them um, uh, like like the period would, would have been. So, you know, 100 years ago, 125 years ago, this bathroom was not here. This was added probably in the 1940s. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to keep it um, looking old and looking sweet and quaint. Now look. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So we pride ourselves too on our luxurious bedding. So our beds are super comfortable with luxurious sheets and, and blankets as well. And for instance, another something special. This is a very old needlework. That's probably about 75 years old. Uh -huh. But somebody did this a long time ago and that's all needlework by hand. And it, it kept like pristine, like it was made yesterday. Well, you know what? It was, when I found it, it was, it had an ugly backing that was stained. Mm -hmm. So I took it off of the old pillow mm -hmm. cover and I added a new, I washed it very carefully and I added a new backing to it. Um, and of course the new, the interior of it is all new. It's, it, this is a feather. The other one was pretty decrepit. So I, I gave new life to this one. Okay. So, мы попали на второй этаж, и она говорит, не все комнаты были сфотографированы, и so what are those rooms? This is not a nice room. This is stacked with boxes. I I needed a room just for my stuff. And so this is ugly and it's stacked storage with boxes. room. Yes, a storage room. And then this is my office, which is also very messy. I call it my command center. Okay. That's where I iron, that's where I work on the computer. So this is not very attractive. But when you move out, it's going to be two extra rooms. Extra empty rooms. Empty rooms for maybe as bedrooms. Oh, absolutely. As bedrooms or offices or sitting areas. Okay. Okay. Well, let's look at the lamps. And uh, here. So this is another guest bedrooms, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, please tell us how much this commercial property potentially can bring to somebody who lives here and runs this hotel. Well, you know what? Um, the good part about that is the um, income you can expect is as much as you want it to be 
as well as little as you want it to be. So for instance, we do live here. And so from time to time I block it and I have my family visit and then I will open it up for guests. And so, you know, seven days a week, 365 days a year with three rooms, um, you can imagine or, or put a pencil to how much revenue you could actually make. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this English channel, Oksana Alabama Homes. Yes, Oksana is my first name. Uh, I was born in 1973 in Soviet Union. When it collapsed, uh, I, will, I realized I'm in Uzbekistan. So uh, I'm Russian from on my mom's side and Ukrainian on my dad's side. But I never lived in Russia or Ukraine. So I was born and I grew up in Uzbekistan. I got my degree in master master's degree in Russian language and literature and I used to teach Russian in uh, public school uh, when I came to America as mail order bride and I was here 24 years since 1998. Alabama is my sixth state and I love it. I love people, I love food, I love climate. Uh, it's a little bit too hot in the summertime but you know we can suck it up. So welcome to Alabama. Thank you.